Well, good morning, everyone. There's Bruno, and I'm Mike, and welcome back to our garage. Uh, right now, it's 8 o'clock in the morning, and it is already almost, I don't know if you can see that, almost, almost 80 degrees in here. Um, yesterday, it got up to 105 with 120 heat indexed, so it got pretty warm. But we're going to try and get out here early to see what we can get done today. Um, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and take out some water. Um, I put out a drain pan out here in our backyard because we haven't had much rain. Uh, the squirrels, the birds, what have you. So I put out a, a drain pan here. And... Yeah. Yeah. And try and uh, put some water in for the birds and the squirrels. And there is a neighborhood cat that comes out here that uh, I've seen out and about. And I don't know if he's back home or not, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead. Yeah, I don't see him out here anywhere. There's Bruno. He just kind of yeah, I'm just sniffing so I'm gonna go ahead and put the water in there and get you in the stand and we'll see what we're gonna start off with today okay guys uh, I got this old Miller's Falls hand drill um, I haven't cleaned it up yet the I think I did a little bit of a look at what I got type of thing it is the 120 a this handle here is a little wonky but what is missing is the handle right here so we were at a it's it's called a creative exchange it's in Cedar Rapids Iowa my wife goes there to get a bunch of stuff for her her journal uh, side deal and every once in a while they got some hardware and some other stuff that you can pick up well i figured this since i won't be able to replicate that or find just another drill with a handle on it but i figured i could take this like small table leg or small chair leg and use this section here as a handle. Fits pretty good in the hand. It gives you a little thing here and gives me some room here to try and size. Might even go with this end for this right here. So um, while I was there, I actually picked up uh, it's a Dexter Custom Number no. Seven. Uh, you unscrew the thing here, and it spins open, and you got your other razor blades there. That was kind of neat. But I also like the way this handle fits in your hand. Uh, what I did find also. Ah, of course the baggie's going to be tricky. <laughs> well, once the 3H one is made in Japan. No brand name. But these other three, uh, half inch, inch, and 5 eighths are all craftsmen. Now these look like these are the older style, or the older craftsmen, just kind of by the way the lettering is. It kind of has like that barn A type of thing on there. So I'm really not sure, but I know that these are probably going to be made in the USA. So I picked up these four, the handle, and the, the razor knife, utility knife, for three bucks. So I thought that that was kind of a deal, but on with 
see if we can get this out, take some measurements, cut this out. This is pretty rough yet, so it'll need some sanding and some finishing. And see if we can get it to fit in there before we start tearing this all apart, clean it up, um, and see what I could do about fixing this handle. I don't know if it screws in or if it's a press fit like the other one was. If it's a press fit, I might have to come up with something different. But uh, I'm going to try and just clean up the wheel because I don't want to lose the decal or that there. But the uh, wire brush, the rest of it, maybe even repaint the framework. And uh, the bolster here. And probably just leave this, wire brush this and leave it as is. I don't know if it was ever painted. Um, might, it looks like it might have had some paint on it at one time, yeah. But it looks like some handle work first before I get her cleaned up. And see how frustrated I can get with that. So let's dig in and see. I guess the first thing we'll need to do is uh, you just lay it in the sun. Yeah. So you got water too, okay? <laughs> I guess the first thing we'll want to do is find out. Now it looks like there was a dim, a small divot put in there that was probably to hold the handle in place um, it does feel like like there's some channels in there also so I guess we're gonna have to try and pick out that wood the best we can might have to get a towel so I don't mar this up too much and see if we can get some pliers on there and see about getting this cap off and then take some measurements Alright. Actually, that might be that might work. Okay. Yeah, okay, we got a kind of radial to we'll use uh kind of this rubber hose fuel line type pliers. Since it'll give us a nice round fit. This is the largest one I've got. Uh, it's from Pittsburgh. But I've never had a problem with some of the Pittsburgh stuff. First, I've, like I said, I don't do a whole lot of what you'd call commercial grade or industrial style heavy duty stuff. So but let's see if we can get that off of there. Well, that's just going to sit there. I don't want to really... Well, we're getting there. If I can get underneath it. Hey, there we go. There we go. Looks like it might come out easier than I think. Or is the whole pin can... Oh! Well, I'll be dipped. All right. Well, that just threads in and out. And this is our piece. So, I think, would I be able to put that in the, a vise and just gently tap it down without marring the threads? Yeah. Okay, well... Let's see what we can do. <clears throat> you know, unless I damage it, I don't know. Let's see, the less I damage it, the better off we are, huh? Well, uh, let's set him off to the side here him off to the side. 
since we're kind of done with him for right now, let's see if we can... I wonder if... There we go. There we are. Hmm. All right. Now we got all that broken wood out of there. That seems simple enough. That seems simple enough. Let's clean out whatever was in there. Okay, that doesn't look too, too bad in there. Okay, so, get my micrometer out. Okay, turn it on. Let's do it by inch and millimeters. Yeah, let's go this way. Hmm. Well, point six seven, but it's taper. Okay, stubborn monkey, it feels like the top. Yeah, 0.67. So, almost three quarters of an inch. Right? 0.75 would be three quarters, right? Yep. Okay, so, we got that figured out. So, we can get rid of these little pieces of wood. Because we don't want any little splinters and posies, do we, bud? Don't want any of the splinters in the posies. I see you in the corner. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, the sun's starting to rise up a little bit. Maybe we should uh, plug in our light in the stand. Okay. I'll be right back, folks. Ugh. Nice breeze coming in through there, though. That, that does help. Okay. So I think... All right, now, let's see how far. We need to go down with this. Okay, it seems like it bottoms out right about there. So we'll need to, okay, well, we only need to worry about that there, okay. Let's see, does this help? Well, kind of, sort of. We're going to start getting into some shaded areas. Okay. Well, there's our pin. So that will be fine. We just need to make... Oh, yeah. see I don't have a bandsaw well might have to get out the old miter box try it that way Huh. 
<laughs> this thing's been through uh, heck and back. What's up, buddy? Let's see if we can. Try to get him to stay in there a little bit. So I always have a, seem to have a hard time keeping the project from moving when I'm cutting. So let's see if we can turn it this way. There we go. That way then I can. There we go. Now do I need to probably clamp it down to the bench? There's an interesting idea. Well, that should help. Oh, all right, so we got our piece here. Our piece here. Let's clear off some of this space, and we can put it under here. All right, now. Let's give this a giggle and see where we're at. beverage refreshment. <laughs> Whoops. Oh well. I didn't need that much caffeine anyway, apparently. Let's go ahead and wipe that off and set him over here. Today's flavor is a donut shop blend. Let's try this again. We're almost through. In fact, we are through. Okay. Oh, there's a little piece there that seems to be hanging out. Uh, it look all right, but it just doesn't feel really good. But this might be a backup. 
I was also thinking of using the uh, something like this off a wooden handle. However, I have a feeling that with the metal cap that this goes all the way through. And I really don't want to tear it apart and ruin it. But I was kind of keeping this in mind too if I was going to try to do that. Because it just looks like it would, you know, just be the right way. However, I'd hate to have to do something to a decent screwdriver if I didn't have to. Okay. So now we want to flip this over. get it right on that one line. Well, that really wants to roll on me. Okay. Like I said, it's pretty much if you try to repurpose something, if you can. a goofy looking bowling pin. Okay. I think we're done with him. At least for right now. Okay. Here's that. Okay, I think we're done with the saw. Oh, what you hear out there now? You hear people grunting, grumping, grumbling? Yeah, they're doing some construction by our house. Um, there's a the Y gym and facility is about a block away from us. And they got the funding for a new pool. So they are currently digging out the dirt and laying foundations and stuff for the new aquatic center. So if you hear the beeping in the background, that'll be the cement trucks and the dump trucks hauling stuff out and bringing stuff in. So, all right. As you can see here, of course, it's going to take some work. Here, I'll show you. So here is what I'm going to start off with. Now, I'm going to fill that in right here, of course, with some filler. And, of course, this is still rough, too. So try and get this section here to fit. In our end cap, which you can see, it's going to take some sanding, but I'm going to take go over to the belt sander here, 
Uh, kind of got to move my tractor and the generator a little bit so we can have access to it. Because as you can see, <coughs> I try and cram everything in here the best I can because the wife's car and the truck got to fit in here. So I got to move the tractor and the generator. And I'll be right back with you. Okay, guys? Hang on. Okay, guys. Uh, let's see, is that a good angle for you? Probably. So, what I need to do is make this here fit in there. Then, we'll have to go to the drill press and <coughs> drill out the dowel for it. But I think that'll look pretty neat. Well, let's give her a giggle and see what I can come up with and how bad I can screw this up. Pardon the noise. It's pretty much had it. Oh yeah, we're Make sure she's on a plug. <laughs> I think guys I'm gonna go ahead and switch this belt out. I've pretty much beat the heck out of it. But I got more belts. Okay. Wow, there's three in here. Okay. Well, we only need one. <laughs> so, there's the new one. I'll just put him back. Let me get this changed out and I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, as you can see, this one's kind of gotten worn out a little bit. I'm only using 80 grit because I want to try and make sure that I get a better fit. And I know I could probably measure it, but look at how even in the back, it's the backing's even getting kind of sketch. Alrighty. Did we save it? 
Well, yeah. Okay, new belt. Okay, how's that feel? Yeah. I didn't need to go that far with it, huh? You gruffing at now, buddy? Huh? You see somebody? Nobody out there. Oh, is there a door banging a little bit? It's a possibility. Okay, guys. All righty.
Okay, I almost got her. She almost fits all the way down in there. Not too bad. <coughs> Plus, I gotta drill the hole to get the pin in there, too. Alright, just a little bit more sanding. Actually, a little more sanding and we'll get her knocked out. Okay? Uh, I'll be back with you when I get that figured out. Okay, guys. I got it narrowed down there. Of course, I got to do a little sanding here to smooth this out. But I've got that in there, and it's a good, tight fit. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is... Uh, let's go over where the pin was. Hey Bruno. Okay. Get you down here a little bit more. There we go. <coughs> now, be able to see if I can drill that out enough. Ooh boy. To get that in there. So I need to go down. Uh, no, oh, it's an inch. Okay. Inch. And where's my caliper? Okay. Three seven. Hmm. That's kind of a weird number. So point two five would be a quarter of an inch. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see if we can find a drill bit that size. And go to the drill press. And I'll be right back with you guys. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to use my Craftsman drill bits for this. Uh, let's see what a quarter inch is since that's saying point thirty seven. Uh, we're going to need something bigger than that. Oh, man. Yeah. You know what? I think a 5 sixteenths. Let's see here. Yeah, something a little bigger. Oh, 3 eighths is going to be way too big. I think what I'll do is go with this here. Wow. Oof da. I don't have his record many weird bits like that. I don't want to go hog one. Let's see what that other bit set has. Maybe the DeWalt one, so I'll have to use the DeWalt one. See if I got or is these going to all be the same sizes in this too? Which is a possibility. Yeah, this goes up to three eighths. It goes up to half inch. I don't know, guys. I got one other eyeball drill kit. Let's see if we can find something to come up with that. Oh, it's just a 
a little girl walking by. Oh, just give it a rest there, buddy. Just give it a rest. Yeah, I give everybody their daily growl. Everything in between that size. That's between the three eighths. Five, six, six. It really is a visitor. It looks like 5 sixteenths it is. So, see if we can get that drilled out and put in there. Then we'll worry about sanding up the rest of this smooth, fixing that divot in there, and see where we're at. Okay, hang on, I'll be right back. What is it with dogs and the mailman? Hey, enough. Stop it. Okay, we're getting there. looks like it. I got to adjust the speed because I'm going too fast. I'll show you what I mean. I got it in check before I started. Get you over here a little bit. There we go. That I had it set at the highest speed. So I don't need that. We need to Reduce it down a little bit so that we don't have it going 3,000. We only need it at about 1,150 or 1,200 or so. So I got to adjust the belt tension here so that I can slow this monkey down a little bit. So I need it on the second to the whoopsie. Okay. Second to the last. Okay, let's see here. He needs to go down to the bottom. Maybe. Hmm. There we go. Yeah, well, let's see here. One, two, okay. One more. And then he needs to go to third one from the bottom, or third one from the top. There we are. Okay. So, just to get you guys up in here to see what I just did. Right here is where it has our speed indicator. I don't know if that's going to focus in. Well, I had it all the way to 3,000 instead of down here for, like, wood. The faster speed for, like, if you do it too fast, it burns. And so, well, you know, let's keep from burning it shall we all right 
You know, I know this isn't the proper way of doing it. However, live and learn. I've gotten about maybe half inch down so far. I don't know if you guys can see where I'm at here. There we are. Okay. These are 5 sixteenths. Got the table as close to where I need it. But it was spinning so fast that it was actually burning. So let's see if we can try and keep from doing that. Yeah, I know. Let's change bits again. Thought maybe it was the bit, but it was not. It was me. See, I've never done this before, so I'm learning what, I'm finding out what works and what doesn't. So we'll go back to what I was using before and see if I know it doesn't need to be perfect. I'm not building a show quality piece, but you know, at least try and keep it as accurate as I can. <coughs> I mean, that fits really good. So, let's see if we can continue on, shall we? Good. Watch me drill my hand. Yeah, that's working a lot better. Still getting a little hot. Well, we'll figure, figure that out, didn't we? Okay. Now let's see if our pin fits. Okay. Almost. Let me keep working on that. Almost. Actually, how far down did I go here? Probably go down a little bit further.
You know what? I bet you I can get the rest of that with the whole file. Let me work on that and I'll be right back. Okay, I meant round file. But, since I couldn't get the bit the exact same size, I went with as close to the size as I could without going over. <laughs> kind of like the price is right. And using a whole file, or round file I should say and filling it or widening out the hole the best I can is that If you can see on the pin, it's got these kind of like raised marks on it. And uh, that's going to kind of wedge itself in there. So I'm not even going to worry about using epoxy. Like I said, these are, you know, it isn't for a commercial style situation. I'm just making a handle for it and finding out what I can get by with. And what I can't. I know it's kind of a long video, but it, I kind of like to do the stuff in real time. That way, you kind of get a feel for, um, you know, how long something does actually take. Um, there's times where I, you know, pause it. I don't have editing software. Everything's on the phone. So yeah, I just don't have the technical know-how for any of that. But this is what we do every, you know, kind of like every day, you know, tinkering. Now well, let's see how much, ooh. Hmm. I wonder if I could get some sandpaper in there. Yeah, I bet you I could. Okay, now I'm just going to wrap this around my file, see if this works. Just to help expedite. Plus it'll fill in that hole a lot better and see how much we need here. This probably. <laughs> hmm. Probably maybe about half that. There we go. you grew up in what, people over at the Y or what? You hearing people's again? 
Oops. Oh, that didn't go according to plan. Yeah, let me get... <laughs> Well, let's see. Well, there is still another piece in there, isn't it? No, well, actually. Hmm. see where we're at almost because I don't want to pound that in and split the handle because then that would suck then it'd be like starting all over again would it I don't want to do that because I kind of like how that turned out so we'll just keep fiddling around with it This might be slow going. Hmm. I think we might have it. Okay, well, I'm going to see if I can tap that in. I don't know. Okay, well, I'll be right back. I'm going to try something. Okay, I know it's been almost an hour now that we've been working on this. But there we go. I got her. Uh, see how it fits in the... I think I better put that back. Okay, let's get get you back on the table here. A little bit better. There we go. 
All right. Oh, wow. So what do you think, guys? There we go. Probably could tap it in a little better. Maybe a little further. Maybe it doesn't need to go any further. But... I think for what you can use it for, it's going to work just fine. Not too bad. Now if I can figure out what to do with this other one here to keep it straight, maybe I may need to make another handle like this. Maybe, I don't know. Actually, that little piece right there might even work. Yeah. It might, because your hand basically goes over. Yeah. So I might be doing another handle. But for today, get uh, that finished up. Maybe clean this up a little bit, take it apart. But at least now I know I've got a good working handle. And I think that turned out pretty darn good. A um, little finish sanding. Um... But yeah, I mean, that's in there pretty solid. And it looks pretty straight to me. I don't know. What about you guys? Does that look pretty good to you? I think I did an awesome job on that. Not to brag, but for the first time doing something like this, I think it came out pretty darn cool. So now I'll be taking it apart, cleaning everything. Um... I don't know if I want to mess with these ball bearings too much. Maybe that whole unit just comes out. I don't know. I'll have to give that a think. I might just leave that alone, but that shaft has all those gears in it too. But it looks like there's pins and everything here. So, looks like I tapped that out. Yeah, that's for the, the switch this. Okay, yeah, I got an idea as to what more, so maybe the next time we'll show you what it looked like all cleaned up and everything. I'm going to clean up my mess. Got to load up the truck. Today's Farmer's Market Day. Uh, the wife only had to go in for a couple hours, so she might be coming back here before too long. Um, and then she, we had to take the parents to the doctors. Uh... But other than that, I'm going to clean up my mess. I want to thank you all for stopping by. If you like watching me do this kind of thing, uh, subscribe, like, do all the voodoo that YouTube wants you to do. <laughs> and uh, for me and Bruno, um, we appreciate you stopping by again. Yeah. Oh, you got a nice breeze here, buddy. I want to thank you again, and as always, keep on tinkering. Huh. Now, keep on tinkering. Is there a way you can bark that? Watch me wind him up. Get the squirrel. Boy. Oh, oh that's just somebody. Ah. Well, you, you found somebody walking down the street. <laughs> You're a little nincompoop. But you know what? You're our ninja poop. All right, guys. See you later. Till the next time. Keep on tinkering.